Welcome back, my scum chum. Today we're going to be taking apart the fellow opus to show you how it works internally and to show you how to make it stepless, which is going to be really exciting. I'm taking apart and voiding my warranty for you guys, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and then go over to some other YouTuber and, and unsubscribe from them because we got to keep things balanced. So let's get started. Now that I've scared everyone away, we have our opus here with steps included, and we're gonna remove those. First thing you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. I like to have some tweezers in case I drop any screws and some brushes to keep things clean once we're on the inside of the grinder. These are really important later, so hold on to them. So let's open this guy up. First thing you do is remove the bottom cup and the top lid of the opus. Then we're gonna make sure that the number is set to six or directly in the center of the dial pointing to the arrows. Keep everything lined up so that it's easier to reassemble later. Then you're gonna flip the opus upside down and we're gonna remove one and two screws from the bottom. These screws are long boys and I also have some catch cups to the side so I can delineate my screws and not get anything mixed up. Take out the second screw and access will be granted to this plastic plate on the back. This is attached to the opus with tiny hooks, so you're gonna have to keep your hands on both sides to unhook it on both sides while you pull it down. It's a little tricky, so be careful and don't break the grinder. But once you get it out, you'll see it is just a big piece of plastic. We're gonna set this to the side and get this out of the way. And this is your opus. This is basically what it is. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it back upright. We're gonna take out the outer ring and we're also gonna take out this back box. The outer ring is pretty challenging to get off. You might have to put your fingers behind the outer ring where there's a bit of a gap, but be very careful because again, everything is made of plastic. Though once you get it off, it should be easier to take it off and on in the future. And this is our outer ring. We're gonna put that to the side and inside you'll see there is an inner ring and that is our blue adjustment ring, which has little springs on it. Go ahead and remove the inner ring. And in this video, I removed the inner burr collar. You don't have to do that. I just kind of wanted it out of my way. And you'll see there is a large black ring on the middle and an outer ring that is attaching to a bunch of little notches in the inner ring. This outer ring is what moves the burrs. The blue ring attaches to the outer ring, and then you have the macro adjustments that attach to the blue ring. Every time you use these little notches right here and you press down, what you're actually doing is moving the notches on this outer macro ring. This means that when you're using the micro adjustment with the macro ring, you're not actually moving the burrs, you're moving how far the macro ring is gonna move the next time you use it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back box off of the grinder. We have three screws we have to get to, two up here in the front, and then one back here behind a bunch of cords. Let's go ahead and start with the front screws. So this is where it's very helpful to have a magnetic Phillips head screwdriver so you don't end up losing these tiny screws. And we're gonna go for the second screw. And finally, we're gonna go for that third screw in the back. You can go in front of the wires or you can go behind the wires. In this moment, I went in front of the wires, but later I use the behind the wire technique, which is probably the smarter way to do this. Once you finish with the box, go ahead and sling it to the side so you can get access to the screw that's directly underneath those cords. There are four screws connecting the grinder to its outer shell, and we're gonna take all of those out. Once you get that done, you are all set and you are, you're almost there, you're so close. Next, we're gonna pull out the entire grinder. And guys, this, this is the opus. This is what the opus is. You're looking at its guts right now. And there it is, there's that little some bitch. That little son bitch that's trying to make our lives hard and giving us steps. We're gonna take that guy out. This outer ring is what actually turns the burrs, so make sure not to adjust that or you're gonna end up throwing off your alignment. The grinder back on its side and this is where we're gonna use our brush to make sure there's no debris around the grinder. In a second, we're gonna open it up and there's a lot of lubricant and along the seam right here, we don't want any coffee to fall in there. So give it a good clean and brush it up all the way around. And you will actually see I have three catch cups here and I am a fool because I need four. So I'm gonna grab one more because we still have seven screws we need to take out from the bottom of the opus. Take out each of these screws one at a time. Hey, here we go, here we go. So be very gentle here. You're gonna pick it back up 
and we are going to slowly open it from each side, but you're not gonna open it all the way, just enough to take out the spring and this little piece of plastic. Try not to drop the spring into the grinder. And then you can close it back up and you are done. Or if you wanted to see what was inside, let me open it for you so you don't have to. There's a bunch of gears as well as washers and lubricant that essentially make the grinder run. Um, they are delicately placed in here and you don't wanna lose any of those washers or gears or mess anything up. So better not to open that and just keep it closed. And now your step back to me is complete. You have officially removed your step, though if you ever wanted to put it back, you totally could open it back up and just put the spring in this little divot. That is my cat meowing. But great job, you did it. Now, before we go, and it's very important, we must reassemble. If we don't reassemble properly, we could end up having a damaged grinder. So make sure to pay attention. We're gonna do everything in reverse order. So re-screw in those last seven screws. Screw, 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 screw. And then you're going to lift the grinder and put it back into its housing. This is a little tricky because you have some cords underneath the grinder itself. So make sure to guide these cords into this little box slit that is cut into the grinder so there's clearance and they don't end up getting smushed. But it's pretty easy once you get them in the right spot to kind of jiggle it back into place. And next you're gonna replace those four screws that actually attach the grinder to the shell. Screw, 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 screw. And you're gonna move these cords out from underneath this little box and we're gonna reattach the box. Let's go ahead and start with the outer screw behind the little circuit board here. You're gonna go behind the wires and gently guide in your screw into the screw hole. The screw hole, I love that word. And then you're gonna go ahead and give it a good screw if you can see that so you guys get a little better picture of it uh, and tighten that and make sure the box is not going anywhere. Then you're gonna do the same thing for the front two screws. Screw, 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 screw. Great job. Next, we're gonna put on the inner ring. Make sure that it is still pointing up and north of the grinder. And then you're gonna place the outer ring going directly down with that blue line pointing at the center of those divots on the outer ring. It might take a little bit of maneuvering to get it to snap into place, but once you get it, it's gonna be locked in and you are gonna be good to go. And my friends, you have a stepless grinder. Look at that. It's completely, look at that. Free range, you can go anywhere you want. Though we still have to put on the back of the shell. To do that, you're gonna stretch the shell to the side very gently, don't break your grinder. to push it back into its housing so that it clicks back in. Then you're gonna close it. And lastly, you're gonna turn the grinder back over and replace those first two screws that we took out in the beginning and then give yourself a big round of applause. You did it, you made your grinder stepless. Now that you have a grinder that you can make stepless and you can get that perfect grind size for your espresso, you might be wanting to practice latte art. And if you do wanna practice latte art, click this video, you dirty, filthy best friends of mine. It's right there. All you gotta do is click it. Uh, and then I, I mean, I will be coming to your wedding, so you might as well do this one favor for me.